hello everyone welcome back once again in this video we will look at getting started with react jx inside visual studio 2019 but before we get started if you haven't subscribed to the channel please make sure you do so this is how we get started with it and please make sure you have the latest version of visual studio 2019 running as of this video and then once you've got that up and running you're gonna open the visual studio installer so here we have the visual studio installer what we do is we come inside the visual studio 2019 if you don't see the modify here you come to the more options here click on the modify so here you need to make sure you check this bit here not just development and then you make you check it then you download and install it it's very important yeah so once you finish downloading and import, i mean installing it then we can come back to the visual studio we start by opening a new project so we get we grab the new project dialog so here we can select whatever we want to do so we're just going to put it at all projects all platforms and i mean all languages all platforms and all projects then what we do is we select um asp.net core web application we click next here we can configure the project so if you've been using visual studio then you know how you can go about it here you can change the project location and then the solution name so once you've done with that then you can click on the create so once you click on the create now we're prompted with another dialogue this is a create a new asp.net core web application so this asp.net core web application configuration so here we leave it as .NET Core and here you can select the version so there's 2.1 and 3.1 so we, we use the latest version and then here you can configure the application to use HTTPS or just uncheck it just to use the normal HTTP that's what we would do so once you scroll up here so you, as you can see you can, we have multiple applications that you can get started with so in this case this is what we were, we, we were going to use this react.js or react.js template so now we can click on the create so we wait for a little bit for the whole for the whole thing to run so while it, while is the whole thing is getting set up i'll briefly describe what the react um js is so react is a declarative efficient and flexible javascript library for building user interfaces it lets you compose complex uis from small and isolated pieces of code called components so react has a few different kinds of components so we have a look at them in this video or later on this video so as you can see now we have the application created so let's get to it and look at what, what we have inside application so if you're familiar with the .NET Core web application you see that we've got a controller folder that contains the controller of the service so in this case it's using a .NET service to, as a server so there, there is a client app here so this page this place you see all the all the react resources yeah so and then we also have um pages here here we've got a view stat page only so first we look at the controllers so as, as you can see here uh, this is just a weather forecast controller so in this case is displaying the weather the weather prediction or the forecast in a certain range so this is as you can see this is just a template to render some data for the for the ui test so we will come back to this bit here 
so here we come inside the components so as you can see here we've got a little bit of java components here so here we've got a counter dot js so this is just a very simple counter component that let that add run anytime you click on the on the button on the button so as you can see uh, it's actually adds one to the current state so in this case we're just gonna make it two so once we run it we see we see it differently so we're just gonna add two whenever we click on this on the we click on this button and then there's a fresh data so as you can see uh, as I showed you here on the controller it's only just sending out wet weather information so this is the client bit that actually do that do that weather query so as you can see once once the data is returned it's actually it's it looped inside this inside this bit here so this is some few bits that I'm gonna show you for now so you can look you can have a look diligently on your own so in this video I'm just gonna change the browser I'm just gonna make the browser Chrome so which is it's, it's already Chrome anyway so so what I'm gonna do is just gonna run it to see what actually comes out of it so I'm just gonna F5 so before you actually run it you need to make sure you've got the node.js downloaded and installed so as you can see uh, here is restoring dependencies using npm so it might take a few minutes so i'm i'm actually pausing it for for this bit to actually finish so as you can see now we've got um we've got the the real js application running now the web application running now so as you can see this is the template from the visual studio 2019 so we have a look here so here once here you see the counter that I actually showed you so in this case once we click on this bit here we have an an increment of two so that's the way it should be so as you can see we've got two increments yeah is because I actually changed actually changed this bit to two that's why we're getting an increment of two So we can have a look at this bit here as well. So as you can see, so we've got a random weather forecast data generated. So this is actually coming from this bit here. So this, in this case, is actually getting, you see the, is generating some random data range from up to five. Yeah. So as we also come to this bit here to fetch data, we scroll down here. So this is actually performing the fetch data um, JSON request, and then once that is that bit is done, it's actually rendered inside here. So this bit here is just it's just uh, the loop that actually puts the data inside the, I mean in a table format just like this bit here so in a in a table format like this bit here so that's what is actually happening there so as you can see it's, um, it's very very easy to actually get started so so I will leave you from here just for you to explore um explore it or explore this template further and make changes yourself just to understand the code base yeah so before i log i log off so this is also where you get we have the weather forecast um, class so in case you are you also i mean i didn't show that so in case you want to know that would be as well yeah so i mean this is mostly relevant to the video that to this video but just say so you know so I'll leave it here for now. So if you have any comments, you can drop a line.
if you haven't subscribed to the channel please make sure you do and have a lovely morning afternoon evening wherever you are stay blessed stay in peace hope to catch up again on the next video bye bye